Hi all. Uh, today let's talk about uh, some functions in SQL Server. The first one is convert function. The convert function uses to convert the expression from one type data type to another data type. And it can also be used to display date and time in various formats. So majorly the convert function used to display date and time in the various formats. So what is the syntax for it? So the syntax is convert of data type. So when I say the display the date and time in various formats, so we need this data type and length and expression. So expression is nothing but what is the field you need to convert. So either it is a date time, either it is a integer or what is the date, what is the expression you need to convert. Next style. So when if you want to convert the date or time to a specific uh, uh, format, then the style field is required. The total syntax is convert of data type comma expression comma style. Here expression is a so what is the value need to be converted is a expression style is required when you want to convert the date or date time or small date time to a different kind of format. So here we have different kind of styles for date time. So it is starting with zero and ending with some uh, 24. So these are all the, what are all the listed styles are very famous styles and we use very frequently regularly. The first style is zero. So zero or hundred like uh, when I say zero or hundred. So uh, if you specify zero, you'll get some result. The same result you'll get when you specify hundred. So zero, 0 or 100 is a default style in the SQL server. So default style in the SQL server. You don't need to explicitly maintain 0 or 100 in the expression or in the SQL server query. Okay. So the next one is 101. So 101 format is uh, used for the US, USA. So date formats. So if you want to display the date mm slash dd slash yy or mm slash dd slash yyy and y so that is a us culture so if you want a date time in the us culture then you have to go with a 101 so if you want ANSI format if you want a ANSI format then you have to go with a 2 or 102 so the same almost the same result you will get with the 2 or 102 except year so if you go with the 2 then you will get uh, last two digits of the year let us say 2017 means 17 you will get it for 2. So 2017 you will get it for 102. Next 103 format, 103 style. So this style, if you want to display the date in the British or French format, then you have to go with a 103. 3 or 103. DD slash MM slash YY or DD slash MM slash YYYY. Next 104. If you want to display date in the german format then you have to go with a 4 or 104 so 4 is nothing but a dd dot mm dot yy 104 is nothing but dd dot mm dot yy y y next if you want italian date format then you have to go with a 105 or 5 so what is the italian date format dd hyphen mm hyphen y y or dd hyphen mm hyphen y y y y so and 106 and 107 and 108. So these are all the general format. If you want to display in a customized format, it is not specific to any standard country formats, but it is a general format. If you want without hyphen, without slash, so then you go with a so a 106 DD month three letters YY DD month three letters YY YY next. So if you want like a month three letters dd comma yy then you have to go with a seven or month three letters dd comma yy yy then you have to go with a 107 if you want only time like hour minute and second then you have to go with a 108 next one if you want a date time with uh, including milliseconds then you have to go with a nine or 109 okay next so you have a one more uh, 110 for USA, the same output you will get for USA with 110. Next, triple one for Japan, 11 or triple one. So, yy slash mm slash dd or yy yy slash mm slash dd for Japan. 
next iso format is 112 or 12 yy mmdd there are no slashes there are no dots there are no commas there are no hyphens in the 112 format so if it is 112 yy yy mmdd so these are all the list of date formats famous date formats in the sql server let me show you the output when i go with 0 to 112 so let me go to the sql server yeah so this is a default format okay so i did not specify let me show you the output So this is the default format. So July 28, 2017, 12:48 p.m. So let me put 0 or 100. I'll get the same data. Yeah. So 0 or 100, you don't need to uh, put explicitly because it is a default standard format in the SQL Server. So but if you want explicitly put 0 or 100, then you can go and put it. Next. So 101 R1. So here you'll get. So this way. So for one, you will be getting year as two digits. For 101, you are getting year as four digits. So that is nothing but a so USA format. Next, 102, R2. Let me click on it. So this is a ANSI format. If you see here, so 17.07.28. 2017.07.28, that is ANSI format. Next one, 13 or 103. Let me run this. Yeah, so you'll you'll be getting DD MM YY for three DD MM YY YY. So four digits of year for one zero three, three digits of year for uh, three. So this is British or French format. So next Germany. So four or one zero four. So you just need to specify like this for Germany. Okay, next five. So you just need to run this query by putting as a get date select convert of where car 8 comma get date comma 5. If you want 105 then you will go with it. The similar way 6. So you will get like this. So 28 July 17, 28 uh, July 2017. So if you want uh, some month first then you will put like this. Uh, July 28, 17, July 28, 2017 for 8 you will get only so hour, minute and time. So there is no change between 8 and 108 here. Next 9. So 9 you will get it as a uh, including milliseconds. Seconds and including this one PM, AM as well. For 9 and 109. There is no difference. Next for 10. So this again a US format. 11 is this. So you'll get 17 slash 7 slash 28. 2017 slash 7 plus 28. So here there is no slash, there is no hyphen, there is no dot. 170728. So next is 113. Yeah, so you'll get like including milliseconds as well here. So this is about a convert function in SQL server. Next one is try convert so try convert so it is also a similar to the convert in the sql server but it is in convert function is a very old function but try convert function is new in sql server 2012 so it also behaves similar to the convert function but so whenever convert function fails it simply gives you the exception or error message but try convert function does not give you the exception or error message it tries to convert if it it is not a, a right conversion then it gives you the null value then it gives you the null value it does not give you the error or exception the syntax is try convert of data type length comma expression comma style the similar way the data type you need to put here like convert expression what field you want to convert that you need to put it as expression comma style what style you want right so let me show you some examples on the try convert see so here if you see here i am trying to convert integer value to integer so ideally this is a fair case 
it does not give any error 800 now if you see here i am in the second statement i am trying to convert string to the integer okay so it works because try convert helps us to convert one data type to another data type next so here i am trying to convert string to the numerical value with a precision of 18 comma 2 okay so this also works next so i am trying to convert a date time i am trying to convert date time so this is also works for triple one format this is a triple one format i am trying so these are all the positive cases these are all the positive cases positive cases also works in the convert function as well there is no need to worry next try convert function in the negative scenario okay so if you see this in this scenario i am trying to put 31 days in the february 2015 year so ideally the same same statement i am going to run with a convert and try convert so as all we know so convert function tries to convert this date value if it fails it gives you the error message that is expected let me run this yeah it given a error message showing as a because of 31 days in the february 2015 but let me run the same statement with a try convert yeah so it tried to convert that particular year to the date time but it actually internally it fails but it is not giving the exception it is giving the null value so that is the difference between convert and try convert so this is all about a try convert it simply works as a convert but it does not fail it gives you the null value whenever conversion fails next one is a pass so pass is also a new function in sql server 2012 this also works similar to the convert function it also converts one type of data to the other type but it tries its best to translate the string value to the requested type and it all it is developed based on the dot net common language runtime so it, it does not give you that convert function performance it give you little less performance when you compare with a convert so when you go to the syntax similar way pass string value as data type or using culser so string value as data type and using culser let me go to the practical examples see here in the similar way i am trying to convert string to the integer so string value to the data type so i am just putting like this select pass of string as int as string to int i am just keeping yeah so it's a positive case next so I'm, I'm converting this this also next this is also positive case now last one is i am i'm going to put using and culture as well the culture is en iphone in it is an indian culture you can put any culture whatever the culture let me run this yeah if you see here so this is a indian culture date and time format year month and date okay so this is how we have to use a parse so these are all like a whatever the uh, functions we discussed today all are similar kind of functions convert try convert and parse okay so that's it so if you like our videos so please like and subscribe thank you